to At Home with Lucas. So we're gonna be talking about the Keurig K-Mini. This is a single serve, single use uh, Keurig machine. I bought this thing uh, about a year and six months ago. Um, and I've had nothing but problems with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what is going wrong and I'm gonna show you how I got this fixed. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so this is the device right here. This is the K Mini. Um, and the problem basically is I'll fill this thing full of water and then I will put a K cup in here, close it down, push the start button or the K button, and then I will watch it only go down like maybe two ounces or something, and then it just completely stops. And then what I just realized was, if you listen closely, you can hear the water trickling down into it. So the water still goes in, and then this thing completely turns off on its own. And the water is inside the chamber, it's not brewing, nothing's happening, and it does not work. See, there's water in there. And now it's trying to suck the water down again. Turn that off. Um, and so I, I started fiddling with stronger or not stronger, turning it on, turning it off. And that started to work for a little while. Um, but that was not a fix. That was just a temporary, um, a temporary fix. It was not a permanent fix. So now I'm gonna tell you what the permanent fix is. Okay, so that's my frustration. It does not work. And that's been going on probably six months into buying the Keurig. And I've owned, um, one, I bought one Keurig years ago and that thing was a champion. That thing worked day in and day out, six cups a day, no problems. All you had to do is clean it. What do I do with this thing? Clean it. I'm always descaling it, always taking care of it. Um, Finally, I said, you know what? I need a fix. I gotta fix this thing. And guess what? I found it. Yes. You know what it was? Called Keurig. Customer service. That's right. I called Keurig. Um, I've only called them once before and I thought I wasn't gonna get any help, but they did help me. And so I figured I'll, I'll call them again. So I call them back. I talked to this very nice lady. I tell her my problems. She said, we need to troubleshoot it. I said, fine because I'm thinking if she gives me a fix, then that's all I need. So we go through a brief troubleshooting and then the problem showed itself. Uh, and she said, you know what? That sounds like it's a defective unit and you're not under warranty, but I'm gonna help you out. Yes, she <laughs> helped me out. So we're getting a replacement unit. I got the fix. Call Keurig. <laughs> that sounds so simple, but um, I'm someone who normally does not call customer service. I'm normally not super into that. I'm a guy who wants to fix everything myself, but this time I called them. Yes, do it. Call them. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> they are amazing. My dad also called them, uh, I think last year, with a problem with his unit, and guess what? They sent him out another one. They sent out a replacement unit. This company is amazing. I don't know if you knew that already, but I'm so happy with Keurig right now. I cannot, wow. So that's the fix. Um, I had a problem. I was literally like not wanting to use my Keurig machine, but I love how quick it makes coffee. So I'm always trying to use it and fiddling with it and banging it and, you know, trying to fix it. And turns out the fix is just call customer service. Call up Keurig. So here's how you find their customer service number. Google Keurig customer service. That's it. Boom. Call that number. It took me probably, I'd say 10 minutes, which is, which is uh, acceptable because there's, everyone's at home right now. Everyone's drinking out of their Keurigs. And so I can imagine that their customer service is being completely bogged down. Plus it sounded like this lady was at home um, and you know, staying, staying uh, socially distant. So there it is. That's the fix. Um, that's more of a a you know, this works. Call them. 
rather than a actual fixed video. Um, but hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, definitely hit that like button. And if you want to support me and you want to support my family and support uh, the, you know, this community that I'm building, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, it just keeps me going. It's like, uh, you know, I, I'm someone who craves um, growth and I crave uh, progress and each subscriber is progress. So thank you and smash that subscribe button. Um, but as always, I thank you so much for watching my videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.